Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of Rainer 7 Whiskey Tango. You join us uh, just about 20 miles away from top of descent into uh, Vienna uh, on this dark flight from uh, from Helsinki. Uh, so at the moment it's uh, maybe 3, 4. Uh, we've got an enter desk date but we'll do that after we've initiated our arrival. So there are this three four, um, which will give us the. Uh, let's have a look. Welcome three whiskey. To Vienna, oh, it's telling us to descend now, but if we maybe if we add a bit more trap miles, so we. Uh, but yeah, still wants it to descend. So we'll put the seatbelt signs on and we will descend flight level 3 or 0. I'll uh, we'll do we'll do it so it's got this green circle. So it wants more drag, so see how far we actually are off. There is a way of checking how far you are off profile in descent. There you go. Right, so we'll, we'll just check our arrival in. So we'll set the plan page. I don't like the look of that, personally. But maybe that's just how it works. Maybe. I don't know. Well, it's given that. <clears throat> as an arrival for us, so uh, let's see if we try and find a way that there is a there is a way that we can uh, see how far we are away from our descent path. Well, on that page, might as well um, might as well do our arrival matter. So we've got uh, fifty zero degrees six knots. On the wind, we've got a temperature of two degrees. No, two degrees, and twin H of one zero zero five. So it got broken at four thousand eight hundred. Um, so that means we'll probably need anti-ice again. I mean, not that we activated it last time. Well, obviously, I'm just wary that our de-icing de treatment is uh, will no longer be effective. So we'll do some um, arrival perfs. Wrong one. So Vienna runway three four. Uh, it is. Medium. I'm going to say medium. To be fair, That's good, good medium. Um, we'll just do the meta stuff in there. Um, landing weight. Estimated landing weight sixty-five point four. I will do uh, medium auto break. Uh, we'll do max reverse. Um, yeah, we'll do manual land, flaps four, auto throttle land. Why haven't we put the auto throttle off? Oh, it's less of a. Uh, yeah, we'll do auto throttle on then. Uh, so. Um, yeah, that'll be okay. Unless you want to do auto brake. Max on you. No, I think I think we'll do low. We'll do low. That'll be that'll be more than fine. Uh, do some procedures. That's that's breaking, breaking anti ice. Can we take that? I've never actually used this to be fair. Can we can we check it? Is that something we can do?
Oh. Right, okay. So, anti ice. Uh, we'll do. Failure calculation. Oh, wow, okay. Never mind then. Just concerned that we're very, very high profile, so I'm going to um, spend the speed breaks a bit just to um, increase our angle of descent, inc increase our rate of descent, rather. See, I don't really want to be going more than 3,000 feet a minute, but in the ca in this case, we are pushing 3,500 feet a minute. It would also help if I turn the game volume back up, I'm assuming. Yes. I hadn't realised that I'd turned it down. there right yeah I hadn't hadn't realized that I turned it down so my bad there we are we're on profile again so all is looking okay Now it wants more drag apparently. Give it give it half of uh give it half speed break. Wonder what all the red lights are. From here to reduce the angle in which that the ILS is captured. I am going to do a direct, and this is going to shot us a bit high on the um, on the path. But that may that now means that it should be a lot less tight. I mean, it hasn't made no difference to be fair. I might do head and selected out a bit just to ex just to extend the uh, rate in which I can get around that on and to intercept the ILS. So I'm not not happy to be fair. I need like a waypoint over there, but obviously that's not going to happen unless there is a feature to do waypoint. No. Oh well, we'll just, just do head and select. Which I'm assuming would be the case in real life. Oh, if I was on bad sim or whatever. So yeah, hopefully you can uh, you can hear me okay. Um, obviously, I'm not sure what the audio levels are going to be like. Or, I mean, I did look back at the old, uh, well not the old, the first part of the uh, the video and um, yeah it, it seemed okay-ish. I mean the engine noises could have been a bit louder on departure and stuff but it's um, yeah it wasn't, wasn't overly obsessive. Right now that you know it's screaming at me that I've got a speed break out I'll, I'll uh, Retract them. But yeah, I, I am a big fan of the Phoenix. It is a nice aircraft. What was it? Broke at 6,500, I believe it said. 4,800. So that'll be those clouds there. 
But they look a bit higher than 4,800. I mean, we are at 13,500 now. So when we get below 10,000 feet, I'll put the anti-ice on. I'll just, I'll just do wing anti-ice because it's um, probably unlikely that any ice is going to form around the engines unless we get an ice detected. We've got a company message. Let's have a look. Minor ops. Send a DC for two minutes to the... Uh... Oh, right, okay. Oh, we'll just do. It was boarding, wasn't it? Really, that delayed us on our way of our departure. Um, we will do. We'll just do O T H. How do I actually do this again? I can't remember. Under ADC estimate, in it? Yeah, ADC delay. OTH. Um, GSX. Time. Oh, uh... The Lake time of plus two. Right, so we'll set, we'll put the uh, wing IT ice on now. We'll set, we'll set the pressure of one zero zero five. I believe that was the pressure. Uh, let's have a look. 1005, yeah. So I'm going to reduce the noise right now. I want to go heading select uh, to a heading of 165. Maybe 170 actually. We'll do 170. Just so we can intercept the ILS a bit better. We'll get our aircraft configured for approach then. So we'll set the ILS on. Uh, currently we're seven miles to the right. If that cloud wasn't there, we'd probably be able... Ah, there we go. So our runway is... There's one runway there. And obviously these are different runways. So Not concerned about them. Put the put the uh, Navin logo lights on. Let's have a look outside as well. How come the uh, logo light hasn't came on? Maybe that's my issue. Came on before. Not to worry. Oh, hang on. Maybe that's. Maybe the two is nav. Maybe the one is logo. No.
Right. So we're on the diamond pretty much. So we have 11 miles, so I'm just going to turn right now. Try and uh, intercept the ILS. Need to reduce our speed as well. There we are, we're at 3,000 feet with plenty of time to spare, so I'm not concerned about that. So there's the runway in sight over there, so we'll stop the approach on the basis that it will capture. Uh, so we'll do flaps one. So we checked flaps one. Uh, we'll reduce the speed even further to 180 knots. I'd like to be uh, slow. Uh, in time for arrival. Oh, well, we'll, we'll not we'll not close that far. In due course, it'll intercept the uh, localizer, and then the glide slope. Looks like it's going to intercept the uh, localizer first, which is fine. So apparently our signs aren't on, but uh, probably because the no smoking is not on to the water. Yeah. Okay, so select flaps two. Oh, I have to do that down here now, don't I? Which will hopefully reduce the angle of attack. There we go. Nose is. Uh, falling nicely. So the approach speed that we've got here is we'll put the put the radio as two hundred just for the sake of it. I haven't actually looked what it is. So one forty on the uh, speed. So we'll do one forty five as our final approach. Again, like to be uh, configured about uh, a thousand feet, which I believe is that's our pace. So we'll do gear down and a flaps three. And with that, we'll put the lights on when we turn off. And fingers crossed, the beacon will uh, now be on. Not the beacon, yeah, the logo is on. Brilliant. So we will go flaps full as well. So a thousand feet will go um, autopilot off. We've got a 32 knot crosswind actually, which is going to be interesting. So I'll just make sure I've got everything configured first. So we've got gear down, flaps full, I'll break low. Landing lights are on. Engine ITIs is on wing. Signs are on. 
and we are landing on West 4 So we're aiming to vacate to the left. Um, so yeah. 1300. We'll go out of pallet now. Just let the aircraft gradually keep on descending with two heads, two whites. Check. No idea what those white things are that keep on uh, going across the screen. Never seen that before. Trying to follow the flight director. It's probably the uh, rain or something. Yeah, I think it's the rain. Just bouncing off the... Uh... Oh, slightly high. Correcting. Slightly high on the rate of descent there. Keep that nose up. Just battling the uh, crosswind there a bit. 500 feet. Continue slightly low. Spoilers. Reverse green. Sixty knots, reverse idle. And it looks like we'll uh, manual break in. It looks like we'll be able to take this exit off to the left. Slow it down a bit. Slow it down a bit. Right then. Welcome to Vienna, everybody. So, we'll go off on the reverse, uh, and we will go flaps zero and disarm the spoilers. Landing lights can come off, strobe lights can also come off. We'll go back onto taxi, and TCAS can also come off the TARA. And it can go on auto. Oh, my bad. Right, so we'll uh, recycle the flight director. Well, we'll take the flight directors off. And we shall see where we are going. So, minus 227G1.09, which I'm happy with. Uh, I believe we are going stand Charlie three two, which is so a bit of lag whilst I just check where we're going. Uh... In fact, what we'll do stop it from lagging, probably because I'm recording as well. We'll just hold position, set the parking brake, and wait for a follow me. Not that they would probably do this, but... Turn the wing anti soft now. Start the AP here as well. So three minutes for the... Uh...
follow me, which isn't too bad to be fair. Ah, I didn't wait for flap open, my bad. There we are. I'm quite happy with that. Minus two seven two seven seven was it? Just double check. Minus two seven seven, yeah. Which is about average, really. It is a jet weird um, get this, so we will. I don't know. I'm not sure what Ryanair do. I know they don't use their air stairs. I don't think these are actually fitted with air stairs. Well, they're not. So, these are following me, so we'll. Manual braking and we'll at least a parking brake. And let's go. Let Mr. Uh, Ford C Max tell us the way to go. I'm guessing it'd be a left here. Which is the way I was going to go, but I, I just didn't want to go to some random. But yeah, that was okay. Nice gusty approach. No, not gusty. Nice t uh, crosswind into uh, Vienna. Don't think I handled that too, too badly. I know I could have, uh, could have been a bit better on the vertical profile. See, it's not really veering off as much here. Maybe it's just an issue with uh, the scenery at Hudson Key. So that that's neutral. So it's it's not really going. Or maybe it was just the winds or something. I'm I'm not sure. Mister Pushback. Uh, Follow me is really getting ahead of us now. It's quite a long taxi as I uh, remember looking. But uh, I know Ryanair used Charlie 32 so I thought we'd just use that. Kind of semi-realistic kind of operations. I mean, the real world flight doesn't run until eight o'clock tonight. I don't believe so, uh, or something like that. This is on the right hand. No, it's not. I thought that was on the right hand side, but it's not. I'm guessing that's the cargo apron. Oh, we're going right here, are we? Oh no. I thought I could see his little indicator uh, flashing. I think we're somewhere over there. Not too, too far, but still. Oh, are we going right here? Oh, no. There's little uh, lights. I'm, I'm sure they used to flash the way it was going. So yeah, we're in Delta Apron now. This is Terminal 3, I think. I 
I want to stay fairly enough back. Just I don't want to uh, about the follow me. See, I don't think the window wipers do a great deal. To be fair, no, well, they do. Well, it just makes it a bit worse. That I think. If we added sound, I don't think it's worth it. To be fair, I can see uh, fine enough without it. So, the so gate just uh, just down there. Mr. Follow Me's picking up his speed again, seemingly. Maybe not. Is it down there? Or where's he going? Did he just get lost or something? Or... Yeah, it's that one at the end there, uh, near enough. Oh well, come on. Come on. There we go. But if you're available, so I'll just shut the blade on. Right. Is that it there? See what I mean? The uh, little one light flashes on the right hand side. Well then it just goes. That's 23. Charlie 32. So we will. I know the throttles. Where's the turning? Uh, there. Turn the uh, lights off so we're not to uh, blind everyone, known to man. Very dark. Oh, there we go, stop. Set the parking brake if you use on, so we'll uh, shut down the engines. So, we will put the passenger seatbelt sign off. Uh, we will request deboarding. Chocks are on, apparently. Uh, we will set the beacon to off. Um, and yeah, welcome to uh, Vienna. I'm interested to see what happens, whether it'll bring the jet bridge or it will bring stairs. Or maybe none of them. I mean, either's possible. Hey, right, hopefully it brings something. Huh, <laughs> seemingly not. Well, everyone, I just have to jump down. Can I, like, operate the jet bridge on here? I do forward stairs. I think that's what they'd use, to be fair. I don't think they'd use the jet bridge. Right, extended power is available, so we will shut off the APU. And yeah, there we go. It gets slightly laggy. I mean, I don't really think it should be getting laggy, but you know, with the CPU and stuff, so not to worry. Probably something that I haven't got optimised or some something. Um, but yeah, it's been alright. Um, and hopefully. Uh, you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, any feedback or anything, leave it in the comments. Um, and yeah, thanks very much for watching. And I will uh, hopefully see you on one of my next videos if I decide to create one. Uh, so yeah, see you later.